All right, what's today? It's cruise day. Yay! We are getting on the Odyssey of the Sea. Here we are, boarding the Odyssey of the Sea. Josh is a little under the weather, so he's not going to participate too much. But I'm super excited. Our boarding time, so we are getting our safety instructions done. And getting ready to go. Wait. So, time to get on the cruise ship. And there it is. You can't tell, but Josh is so excited. <laughs> We've been trying to get video before we got on the cruise ship, but like this has all gone so fast. So, here we are, boarding Odyssey of the Seas. Super excited. We got a balcony cabin. We have a lot to do once we get on the ship. We need to go and book our dining reservations. We did get the unlimited dining package, so very excited to try all the venues. You can't really see it. The ship is through this glass. What's today, Josh? Today's cruise day. Yay! Where are we? So we're on Odyssey of the Seas at Schooner Bar. Yep. We just got onto the ship. Pro tip, once you get onto the ship, you can immediately start booking all of your dinner reservations for the entire stay. Uh, highly recommended because they fill up quick and then you'll just be left with either really early or really late slots and you'll be able to do it right when you want to. Yeah, we were already, like we got on first we were one of the first people to board and we went straight to wonderland which is like which is right by the right by the entrance, entrance. And we booked all of our reservations and still there were several time slots that we weren't able to get um just because of how full it is so a lot of people are on the same wavelength i guess we also booked our iFly for tomorrow. That's something that uh, is included whenever you're on CA, so we're excited about that. We haven't tried I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to uh, watch Josh do it. It's not for me, I don't think. No, it's not. We'll see. I didn't make the reservation for me, just for you. No, no, no. <laughs> if, if I like it. Yeah, yeah, we'll see if you like it. That's it. We'll see you guys later. Yeah, we're going to go explore the ship a little bit and. You know, see what we want to get up to. Maybe get some lunch. Josh is actually not feeling too well. He has a little bit of food poisoning from California Pizza Kitchen that we had yesterday delivered to us at our hotel. Um, so he's maybe going to pick at some food, but I am going to go ham because I am really hungry. So <laughs> let's go find the Solarium Bistro. Sound good? All right, let's go. So actually one thing that we haven't done, which we need to do right now, is go find our muster station. Um, we already did the app stuff while we were waiting to board. Um, so now we just need to go find E2, which is our muster station. So uh, let's go find that. All right, so I got us some snacks from Cafe 270. First thing I got is a turkey club. That is a Cuban pita. Plus and Josh got some potato here. leek soup since he's not feeling great you and some fruit. And then I also so got a chicken Caesar salad, which has a lot of Caesar dressing on it, but it should be okay. Our we also did pick up our drink also cups, the Via is a new dining which look pretty cool. Giovanni's Italian Kitchen and what wine color do you want? Where Sunday supper is served every day. Giovanni's Italian Kitchen and Wine Bar offers a menu of old I like the green one better, but... If you prefer sure it, I, I don't mind because I'll get it in the long run anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'll take the red cup and then whenever we get back home, that green cup is mine. <laughs> All right, we're going to eat a little bit and we're really just waiting on our muster station right now. We're not entirely sure who's supposed to be. Yeah, we're sitting literally under it. But um, nobody's here conducting it. And I think everybody else that's here is also waiting on that. At the other muster stations, like Yeah, but there's no one at this one. So I don't know, maybe some oversight here, but. Does the soup taste good? Does it taste like your potato leek soup? Or is yours better? I'm gonna try it. That's actually really good, but yours is better because it has 
more leeks and bacon and all that. But that is really good. I liked it. We just got our mustard done. Finally, someone showed up. That was really easy. Like, all they did was scan the CPAS card. They didn't really even. This time, you do it through your app on your phone. And then you just sign in so you know where the mustard station is. Yeah. Like, we're used to Carnival where they just sit you down and do it. But, like, this worked better, I think. So, now off to the phone. We got ourselves some drinks. So, we can explain safety. One, two, three. Check out the Bionic Bar. There's a wave of people coming at me right now, so I'm trying to get out of the way. Looks like it's not up and ready yet, but we'll check this out at some point, I'm sure. Yeah, there's they're named. I don't know how to tell. Oh, really? So that one's mixed and this one's mingled? It's cute. Oh, it says, okay. We'll come back and check on it in a minute. Oh, it has like a recommendation based on age. Or Bionic Bahama Mama. Yeah, let's try it out. Josh is staying alive. <laughs> We're checking out the Royal Esplanade right now. Let's find an elevator. All right, it's about to go out on the pool deck. Oh, there's the solarium. Let's check out the solarium. But, like, check out the pool. Oh, teleportation. Teleportation. What? Why not? That's how I get everywhere. But this is a nice little area. Look at that. They're already going up in the North Star. This is cute. I like it. I like how it's like covered too. There's the lovely port of Fort Lauderdale, Port Everglades. Like a shipping yard. It reminds me of Freeport. I don't think so. Well, people bring it on their in their carry-on. Mm -hmm. Oh. Do you want me to carry it for you? I know it's heavy, I believe you. But I feel bad because you're sick. Checking out the Solarium Bistro. I know the camera is supposed to eat first, but we were really hungry. Um, Josh, you got some chicken noodle soup. How was it? Sad. Um, I got another salad. This one's just like I made it, and it's with Italian dressing, but um, it was okay. You know, just a basic salad. I just kind of got in the line, and um, I looked stupid if I didn't get something, so like I got it. <laughs> um, then I also got some spaghetti and mashed potatoes which is you know a classic combination <laughs> neither of them were seasoned really well one thing i've noticed about cruise ship seasoning is it's always a little under what i would season at home but eh, it was okay probably wouldn't get it again though and then i also got a chocolate bar cake which was good um, and then this raspberry tart, which I was expecting to be, like, um, tart, you know, like, kind of sour, but it wasn't really, it had very little flavor. It wasn't my favorite, um, but maybe Josh would like it if he wasn't feeling great right now, or not feeling good right now. The strawberry with cream on top. <laughs> Can't go wrong. <laughs> 
But we are waiting for the room to be ready so Josh can go lay down and take a nap and maybe feel a little bit better. Then we got some other stuff on the itinerary for today that hopefully we'll be able to go to. But if not, it's okay. Today's just like a relaxing boarding day. And we will, um, you know, keep you guys updated on what we end up doing. But I do recommend everybody try out this chocolate tart. It's pretty good. Yeah. Especially because that little white chocolate, this white chocolate right here, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Yeah, it was really good. But anyway, we are going to just go explore the ship a little bit and then hopefully we can get into our room a little bit early. I think the rooms open up at 2, but maybe we can get in there before then. We'll go check it out. Yeah. Hopefully we have a good view from our room too. The solarium looks really nice. This is probably where we'll be spending most of our time on the cruise ship, is in the solarium. The hangout spots look really cool. The yeah. 270 lounge. Yeah. The shoes look nice. Yeah. Cool. We'll catch up with you guys later. Bye. Really quick check out what we have at the Solarium Bistro. There's a cheese plate, some cold cuts. Looks like some Indian food and some paella. Excuse me. Some roasted barbecue chicken. I didn't see that earlier. I would have grabbed some mashed potatoes, some more curry, hot dogs, hamburgers, and some garnishments. Then over here is like the salad bar that I accidentally ended up in this line, <laughs> and some desserts right over there. And I'm being rushed out. <laughs> I left Josh up at the solarium to see if our room is ready. Um, and I want to drag him all the way down here if it's not ready. But I think it is because, you know, everybody has their bags out front, most of the time, most of them at least. And, you know, a lot of these doors say sanitized and ready for use, but I want to make sure ours is ready before I drag him all the way down here. The room is ready! I have to go back and get Josh, but just really quick, let's look. Outside. Call in America line. And bummer, we do have a view of lifeboats, but it's not as bad as it would have been. These people can literally touch the lifeboats. <laughs> I'm glad that's not me. Alright, let's go. Let's go get Josh. I'm sure he wants to come lay down, so. Go grab him really quick. The room is nice. I like it. Spacious enough and really looks nice. So let's go grab him. So we just got back to the room and we took a little bit of a nap because I wasn't feeling too well, still feeling a little bit queasy, feeling a bit better now. So we're about to go explore the ship and see if I can tolerate it and maybe go grab some food, check out some of the events that are going on. And then later tonight, we're going to go to Chops. Yeah. And uh, we do have the run by the shore excursion desk because we didn't get a ticket for one of our excursions. Um, so we will head that way really quick and check on it. But just to show you what we've done with like the space a little bit, I'm not going to do like a room tour or anything, but we do love the magnetic hooks. Like they definitely free up a lot of space. So highly recommend getting you some and then also doing the, the clips to hold your, your excursion tickets. But yeah, that's what we've done with the space. I, I did give Josh, I allotted him like a whole drawer and a whole section for his clothes, but the rest of it's all mine. <laughs> I'm kidding. He got a good section this time. There's so much storage yeah, in this there's room. A lot of storage, lots yeah. of drawers. Here's the little 
cooler. Not really a fridge. It's more like a Yeah, cooler. don't call it a fridge. <laughs> it um, tries to be. But yeah, so just a basic balcony room. Nothing special. Nothing crazy. We like it, though. All right. We will head out and keep you guys updated. One complaint I do have about this room, though, is this closet. This is the closet that is to the right of the bed. And it's a nice closet, right? But then there's this bar down here that doesn't lift up or anything like that. So like all of my clothes are kind of just like laying on this bar, which will probably cause like wrinkling issues. So complaint. <laughs> but other than that, I think I like everything else. That's what you would order from the Bionic bar. <laughs> yeah, this is Let's watch him. <laughs> Who do you want to mix or mingle? Mingle. I wonder if this alcohol is just as watered down as the ones in the regular bar. How much is this? I don't know. We're gonna look. Let's look at their signature drinks. Does it say? Um, I think it has to tell you. I assume. Mm. Oh, it has like ratings too, so you can see what people think. This one has good ratings. Let's look at it. That looks good. You wanna try that? Twelve bucks. Five parts ice. <laughs> Sunshine. I think they're all going to be five parts ice, yeah. Orange schnapps and absolute. That's the one that it was uh, saying for us, right? Uh, ooh, you know, we love Pineapple, orange, Captain. I say this one. Add to cart. Do you want to get something or do you want to skip one? Okay, we'll try it out. Nice. Look at the banding in here. It's pretty bad. Four minutes? Oh, cool. It tells you. Hit OK. And then log out. So nobody else. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, so on the top right on the screen it has like a queue, so I guess I'm in Mix's um, queue. And the wait time is two minutes, which I don't know if you can see because of the glare, but maybe. You're going to drink this, right? Yeah, you you feel well enough to drink it. <laughs> you haven't, all you've had today is soup. <laughs> all right, one of them is making my drink. I guess mingle, mingle. Okay, so the queue is not for just mix or mingle. It is just the queue, and whoever makes it makes it, which is good. Mingle is who I wanted. I think mix heard you because he could have started. Yeah, look at him. Like... Look at him. Lazy. No one wants to work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> even robots. <laughs> there's even, there's a queue. You could be doing something. Right? Seriously, though. Come on, Mix. They're probably maintaining it or something. Ah, oh, that's what it was. It was out of cups.
Is the grenadine. <laughs> so cute. All right. There it is. Get every drop. I like it. For me? Awesome. Have a sip. What are your thoughts? Is it the best Bahama Mama you've ever had? <laughs> Let me try it. Oh, yeah. You're going to get Woo! drunk on that. <laughs> very strong. How bad? All right, look at what the pizzas are. Hi, can I get some pepperoni pizza? Um, do two. Do you want any? I just want uh, one slice of supreme. Thank you. We'll sit by this door. I knew you would end up with pizza. I love the Thomas Kincaid Disney stuff. This is also a Thomas Kincaid, but it's not a Disney one. He just does really good stuff. On the top deck, top deck 15. That's what it is. It's cute. I like the the colors on the ship. Like, you know, you see it on other people's cruise vlogs and stuff, but it looks so much better in person. Like, this to me looked cheap on other people's vlogs, but like in person, it doesn't look cheap. Look how cute the duck. Such pretty colors. The cat. The giant cat. Alpha, alpha, made of alpha. flowers. Shops, galley, deck five, so on for alpha, alpha, alpha. Shops, galley, deck five, so on for starboard side. I wonder what that means. Alpha, alpha, alpha. Remember during the shops, galley, uh, during the additional safety instructions video. Yeah. Take more of those. What does it mean though? I wonder what alpha means. Do you want to do the rock walk? But do you want to do this sometime? Yeah. 
the ripcord by iFly. Josh will be doing this tomorrow. He's super excited, aren't you? Oh, yeah. I'm not going to do it. I'm a chicken. I'm not going to ever skydive for real. But... I, I probably would have done that when I was, like, younger, you know? But, like, not that I'm old, but, like, I just, I'm not as brave as I used to be. This is cool. Look at the little face. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's got the lumps. Oh, this is the... To jump you, you don't you don't have to do the VR all right and there's our lap around the ship <laughs> so we need to try a local fresh at some point maybe we'll check that out tomorrow You know what I've noticed is like kids don't play in this area. From what I've seen, I have not seen really any kids, but they all love those hot tubs. <laughs> Up there is like that's like for teenagers only, but they have like the most Instagrammable walls. It's not fair. Okay, we had to stop by the room before heading over to Chops because we forgot our cruise ducks. We need to start putting these out. So we brought like 20 ducks or something like that to put out. Today, what we're gonna hide is emo duck. Check him out and it says, congratulations. And then just some info about like us and the cruise ship and whatnot on the back. And we're also gonna hide in honor of Florida residents, the clown duck. <laughs> All right, let's go hide these guys on the way to dinner. See you in a bit. Oh, I was gonna hide it right there, but someone's behind me. All right, first cruise duck hiding spot. Right there. What do you think of it? Is that a good spot? It's a good spot. Okay. All right, so here we are at Chops for dinner on night one. Your microphone's over there. There is some banding happening because of the lighting, but it's all right. Let's check out and see what we're gonna have for dinner. Oh, the banding is so bad. Sorry about that. It is what it is. Alright, starting us off, we did get some bread. We got onion bread and pretzel baguettes. Both of them look pretty good. Yeah. What are you thinking about having? So, a little more menu. I'm thinking about the crab cake with a Caesar salad to start. The filet has made. And I'm still trying to figure out the dessert. Well, I haven't even looked yet, so let's see. What did you say for the main? Uh, the filet. Filet, okay. I thought you were going to go with fish. Only for two, right? Yes, just two. Okay, I'm really bad about the camera eating for us, so I already took a bite. And it's it's alright. Tastes like tastes like barbecue. So I got the bacon and then Josh got the crab cake. You wanna take a bite of it and see if you like it? It looks really good. From another bigger 
It's good. It's good. I'm gonna have to take a bite. You should try some of mine. So tell us about the crab cake. What does it taste like? So the crab cake was really flavorful, really fresh. Love the aioli with it. Stomach still a little bit torn up though. So yeah, you ate like. Half of it. Same for me, I only eat about half, and that's only because I'm saving room for the filet and like the sides and stuff and dessert. So, because I know I could fill it really quickly, so I'm, I'm pacing myself. Because we also still have salads too, so yeah. But yeah. Um, the crab cake was really good, it had a good flake on the outside of the, the crab cake um there's also some corn in there for some like added texture and some peppers and the aioli was really good really creamy and it actually had like a little spice to it which i liked a lot so the the bacon it was it tastes like barbecue sauce that's what it tastes like you know? I mean, it's not bad. It's just, yeah. It, it tastes like barbecue sauce. And, like, some of it's kind of fatty, but it's tender enough to where I can eat it. Sometimes, like, with bacon, though, like, it'll be, like, really, really fatty and, like, I can't eat it. This isn't the case. You can tell there's fat, but it's, it's tender fat. Yeah, yeah, it's good. So, I approve. It's just the crab cake was better. So let's talk about the ambiance in here. I like it. I like the warm lighting. Um, and I really like those those wine coolers over there. Those look really cool. Yeah, so Josh and I both got the filet. And it came out with the garlic and the rosemary on top. It does look really good. And we asked for the peppercorn sauce, so that's what that is on the side of the plate. And Josh got it too, because he copies me. Um, and then we got some mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, and asparagus. Um, but I got the warm chocolate cake. And it comes with like just chocolate cake, a little bit of graham cracker on the ice cream, and then some fruits. And then Josh got the key lime pie, which he does not plan on eating. So the breakaway favorite here was the key lime pie, key lime meringue pie. It was really good. That's the one that we had just like, we went to town. This one's good. It's just, this one's better. Recommend it. But they recommended this one highly, so I think that this one's probably like the, the favorite for everybody. So what did you think of dinner? So we just finished up. The key lime pie at dessert was incredible, and the steak was great too. Yeah. Um, the sides were okay. Sides were okay. But uh, I really liked the appetizers as well. Um, even though the bacon wasn't your favorite, it was still very tasty. You I, liked I, I it. I liked both of them, yeah. Yeah. The only thing I would say about the steaks is that mine was medium well. Yeah. Um, so it was a little overcooked, but... It actually worked out because I'm still feeling a little bit torn up and I didn't want to send back a steak that whenever they brought it back and it was cooked right, I just wouldn't even be able to finish anyway. Yeah, I uh, mine was cooked pretty well, so it was pretty good. Um, <clears throat> the sides were okay. There's nothing nothing crazy. Yeah. The asparagus was cooked very well. Yes, the asparagus was actually my favorite side, which was surprising. Right. I, I thought it would be the mashed potatoes. Yeah, normally I'm all about it. I think we're going the wrong way. Yeah, it feels like we're going the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to follow you. Right? <laughs> we're going to some random person's room. <laughs> yeah, we're on the starboard side. We need to be on the port side. So let's go this way. We don't know where we're at. We're figuring it out. We're doing the best we can. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. But anyway, um, the food was really good though, and we really liked our server. His name was like Dennis. Oh yeah, he did some magic at the end. Did which some was magic, really fun. yeah. Passed a quarter straight through a plate like the Flash. <laughs> straight magic. 
I asked him how he did it, and he, he said magic. So. <laughs> <laughs> no other explanation there. 